Welcome to episode six of the Keystone Footy Show. My name is Bo. I'm joined as always by Mr. Terry Tatoko. Hello. We've got Scotty. Hello. We've got Michael. Hello. And we have a new uh, guest on the show today, Andre. 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 Hello, Andre. Andre the Hulk, he likes to call himself. Uh, mm. And gentlemen, we're going to be reviewing, not reviewing, previewing round mm. 10. Round 10 already. Yes, that's right. Now we're going to mm. do just four games Today we're going to do the match of the round and then we're going to cover the three Queensland teams as well. Let's start with the match of the round, which we voted was the Roosters and the Raiders on Thursday night. Roosters have uh, had a big win against the Cowboys, yeah. against my Cowboys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't do too well. Um, and they got Brett Morris and Boyd Cordner coming back. Um, what do you reckon about the Roosters so far this year, Andre? Thumbs up? Uh -huh. Big injury news this week for the Raiders, Michael. They're missing... Who are they missing? Josh Hodgson. Josh Hodgson, yeah. Could be a, a season. He's, he's their dummy half. He throws the passes. Um, yeah, and he makes a lot of tackles. He's, uh, he's one of their best players. So he'll be out for most of the season at least. Uh, so that's a big loss for the Raiders. Um, should be hard for them to beat the Roosters this week. Roosters. Roosters. Sorry, Andre, I'm going to go for the Roosters as well, making it four votes to one. <laughs> um, let's go into the Queensland teams. On Friday evening, there's the Storm and the Gold Coast Titans. What do you reckon, guys? How the, how the, how the Titans are going to go here? Lose. They're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to lose. The Titans. Storm. The Tigers and the Broncos. The Tigers had a loss to your team, Terry, the Rabbitohs, yeah. on the weekend. I didn't actually see that game. Did you watch it? Yeah. Did you watch it as well? Did the Tigers go okay? Uh, uh, only when Benji Marshall come on. Yeah, right. They done all right. Yeah. Well, so I wonder if that's why the coach, Michael McGuire, has made the change and he's put Benji Marshall in the starting team this week. Um, and what put Luke Brooks to the bench. Uh, very interesting to see. Um, mm. Do you think that's going to... If, if they were better when Benji Marshall was on the field, you reckon that's a good move then? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. And, and your team, Michael, the Broncos, they finally had a win. They beat the, uh, the Bulldogs. Uh, I think most teams could beat the Bulldogs, and that includes <laughs> the Broncos. But it'd be a good confidence boost for the Broncos. Uh, do you reckon you guys have a good chance of, of beating the Tigers this week? They play in Leichhardt Oval. They are playing the Leichhardt Oval, yeah. They should have a few hundred people at that ground as well. Um, That's a long way away from here. It's about a 10 hour drive. <laughs> 10 hour drive. Yeah. 10 hour drive. I imagine they might go on a plane. <laughs> the Broncos. Very good. And Andre? Uh, and Tigers. Oh, wow. Even though the Broncos had a confidence boosting win, I too am going to go for the Tigers, making it three votes to two. Should be a close one though. Awesome. Okay, and the last game we're going to cover is the Panthers and the Cowboys. Another Queensland team. Another Queensland team, another loss. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> they are my team. I'm wearing the colours loud and proud, even though we're getting spanked every time we play yeah, at the moment. I love your show, bud. Thank you, Michael. Um, so yeah, like guys, the Panthers absolutely smashed the Sharks on the weekend. Do the Cowboys have a chance? You reckon? Um, Jam, <laughs> and then you do. No, 
you don't you don't reckon they got much of a chance. They they're going to Sydney to play against the Panthers. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, they're doing really good. Love, Red Day, Yeah. Uh got ball. Yeah, the, look, you're right. On so against the Roosters, the Cowboys they dropped way too much ball. Uh, they couldn't hold on to the ball, that's why they lost. <laughs> yeah, and their defence let them in for too many tries. Oh, Cowboys! Come on through. I'm with you, uh, Terry and Scott, for all the games. It pains me to say it, but surely the pants are going to win this one. So, three votes for them. We have a couple of mailbag questions. Thank you for the questions, and thank you to everybody that watches the show. We really appreciate it. Um, Remy, one of the friends of the show, we love Remy, she asks, who is going to win the competition this year? So, uh -huh. which team is going to win, do you think? Uh, here. It's hard to pick, you're right. It is, it is still early, Remy. Um, we're not quite as smart with the footy tipping as you are. <laughs> um, but... Let's let's just do a, a just a tip. Let's see who we think. So Andre, who do you think is going to win the the Broncos? Good luck. <laughs> good luck, bro. Good luck. Good, good, good on, one, Andre. Go, Andre. It would be it would be quite the ambush to win it from here, Andre. <laughs> I love the team. Yeah, yeah, the horse. The <laughs> well, you would like to do that as a Broncos fan, but who do you think is going to win the the competition this year, the grand final? Michael. Yeah. The Roosters? Yeah, that's uh, they they are playing really well. I think they're coming <laughs> Alright, alright you farm animals. Alright, you, you farm animals, settle down. Uh Scotty, who do you think is gonna win the cop this year? You don't know yet? Who do you want to win? Yeah, about you know, and the one. You like the Eels and the Storm? Yeah. So the Storm haven't won since 2017, and the Eels haven't won since 1986. Yeah. <laughs> so that's before I was even alive, and before you were alive too, Scotty, actually. Yeah. Uh, Terry, you might remember that one, 1986. Uh, who do you think is going to win the Premiership this year? Roosters. Roosters to make it three in a row. Roosters or Storm? Actually, you know, well, the, so the Storm would be, yeah, they, they won a bunch of comps recently. The last team to win three in a row was the Parramatta Eels, actually, in 1981, 82, and 83. That's the last team to win three in a row. So if the Roosters win this year, that would be three in a row. Um, yeah. I also think the Roosters. So thank you for the question, Remy, and we hope you ask another question soon. We have one more question from Spike, uh, a new friend of the show. He says, hi, guys, loving the show. Thanks. Thank you, Spike. Hey, what do you make of recent talk about scrums? Are they a waste of time? Should they be scrapped? A lot of players seem to think so. What do you reckon, uh, Andre? Do you like when the players get into a scrum or do you reckon just get rid of it? Yeah. It's all right. Andre reckons it's all right. What do you reckon, Michael? You want scrums to stay or you want to get rid of them? I'm not them Day. You want scrums to stay? Any reason? No. Not sure. Not sure? That's okay. That's good. Uh, Scotty, what do you think? They should keep the scrums or you reckon get rid of the scrums? Yeah. Get rid of them? Why's that? Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Waste of time. Terry, what do you think? Yeah, get rid of them. You get rid of them? Yeah. Um, I kind of I kind of agree with you guys. I think if you just instead of wasting time and packing the scrum and all that sort of melee, you just have a tap and keep going. Yeah. Like you do with a penalty. Yeah. That's it. Um, That's it. it'll get the game going faster. They've you got the ball up in the field in the Yeah, so if it's a drop ball, instead of getting all the forwards oh. together to have a scrum just to 
just just stand around and do nothing because they don't compete for scrums anymore. Um, I'm I'm with the players on that one, and I'm with uh, Scott on t- and Terry on that one. Scott, Terry, and I think that scrums should be scrapped because they are a waste of time. Michael and Andre are more than happy for them to stay, so we're a little bit undecided. Mm. If anyone, thank you for your question, Spike. If anyone else has any questions, please do what Spike and Remy did, which was comment on our Facebook posts. We very, we very much appreciate it, uh, and make sure you like and subscribe to all of our videos because that gets it in front of more people. We have some very exciting announcements coming up very soon, but I'm not going to spoil that mm. one just yet. We have a few eyes to dot and T's to cross before that all happens, but we are hoping to meet with a very special guest in the coming months. Uh, thank you very much, gents. Have a, have a nice weekend watching the footy. Thank you, Buck. You too. Thank you, bye. Cheers, guys.